In this video I'm going to show you how you can change the things on your sidebar, change the titles that appear here, and also change the order in which they appear. Um, so right now I'm in the site information area, site info, um, and I can come up to the top and I see in the menu bar that it says page order. So I'm going to click that, go into the page order area, and um, one thing I can do is just pick things up and drag and drop them. Now I like mine to be in alphabetical order, so um, QRS, I'm going to move the roster up above there, and the resources down under there, um, and uh, I'm going to move this all the way up to the top right here, and although it looks like that's out of alphabetical order, I have a re uh, method to my madness, so let me move things around a little bit more. And I'm going to come in, and another thing you can do in this area is, instead of calling this a schedule, I'd rather really call it the calendar. So I'm going to click Edit, that little sort of uh, pencil, and then click and change the name, Calendar, and click the green button, and now it's called Calendar. I'm going to do that again for syllabus. Uh, in the School of Medicine, we like to call that the course information. Now, note that I put an underscore here. The reason I did that is because if you put a space, it'll make course information two lines. Like on the side here, it says discussion and private messages. And I like it to all be in one line. So if you put an underscore, then it stays in one line. So I'll save that name change. And discussion forum and private messages is a really crazy long name, and I would prefer just to say forums. So I'm going to click in there, backspace, and type in forums. Click that, and there we go. I think things look uh, pretty good. Looks like there's an alphabetic order the way I'd like them. So I'm going to click Save. And now when you look at the sidebar, you can see that it's in alphabetic order and the names have changed. Now I'm going to show you something else about the page order tool, which is if you go in there, um, I showed you that you can move things by dragging them, picking them up, and moving them around. I showed you that you can edit their name by clicking on this button here. But also, something to note, um, obviously you can remove something with the X button, um, but if you click on this button here, or say for the resources, maybe we don't want everyone to see it. So we'll click on that, and it'll make it invisible. And what that means is that people with low level of access, like students and guests, will not be able to see it. People of high level of access, like TAs and instructors, will still be able to see it. Um, so the roster is something we don't want the students and guests to see. Um, but they can see search, and they can they should see the forms and the rest of this thing. So that looks good in the way I'd like to have it. So I'm going to click save, and there we go. Now one way to check on this is you can view site as, and so you can view site as a student. And you'll notice that the list over here on the sidebar is much shorter because I made those things invisible. So I'm going to exit student view, and you can see that the list becomes longer again.